I made these really cute little Easter baskets with eggs in them. And I'm going to show you how to put a couple together, but just real quick, what I did was I used the doodle charm and I used the Easter basket and the Easter eggs. And um, I just print, um, cut out uh, the Easter baskets in a purple. And then I used the Sizzix embossing with a little triangle to um, make it look more like a basket. And I used this little cuddle bug embossing folder and put all my little eggs through them and it makes them look like they're little decorated eggs. So, and then I cut about eight little, seven or eight little eggs out for each basket. So what I'm gonna do is just flip it over and take my little glue runner and put some glue across and just kind of randomly stick some eggs on. Now I'm gonna go and put a little bit more. Put these up a little bit higher. And then I need a little bit more for one more. And then when I flip it over, I've got a nice little basket of eggs. I um, have a little family gathering I'm going to and so I have made some cute little Easter buckets for um, all the kids and um, just to remind them this is not all about candy and Easter bunnies um, I wanted to put on uh, something to remind them what the, the resurrection of Christ and and what Easter and the celebration of Easter is all about so I've done Jesus is risen on the back um, this is an SVG that I actually purchased from VinylDesigner.com. You can um, find a link over in the um, sidebar of my blog to them. And um, you can also check on my blog because they have a coupon right now for, um, I think it's 25% off through the end of April. So you ought to pop over there and get some of their great designs. And then on the front where I did the kids' names, I actually used that. Um, it's a Cricut cartridge, and I believe it's opposites. Yeah, opposites attract. And so um, this is one of the, that's Maya's. Um, this is my niece Delaney's. And did the little Jesus is Risen on the back. For the boys, I went with um, white and blues. Um, this is Olin's, and I did his. And then I'm about to show you um, what I did real quick. So, um, I've already cut out the other two fellas' names, and um, let me weed this vinyl real quick. I actually probably should have trimmed that, because that's a good, good bit of vinyl I'm wasting. Oh, well. All right. And um, get this pulled out. Here we go. All right. Let's get a little piece of transfer tape here. And um, if you go to my blog, The 31 Woman Cooks, which you can also find at the top of this page, a uh, little tab for cooks. You can go there and you can find some of the recipes of some of the treats that I'm gonna be putting in these buckets. I've made chocolate covered Easter eggs and I made them in peanut butter flavor, um, in just a plain cream flavor, in a mint flavor, and in a um, coconut. And let me think, there was one more. Um, oh, Nutella, which is yummy. And then um, I'm also doing some Rice Krispie treats that I'm dipping the corners in eggs, or, I mean <laughs> eggs, in chocolate, and um, then into sprinkles. And then, um, let's see, there's also homemade caramel, and um, that's on my site. And um, whatever, whatever I end up cooking and putting in there, I will have on, I'll have some videos of how I did it over on the 31 Woman Cook, so make sure you go check that out.
Okay, so now I've got the transfer tape on my Jesus is Risen design, and I'm going to pull it up here. There we go. And then I also have um, some little white pieces that I had cut out earlier that I'm just going to kind of layer in the back. Of course, the white's not going to be the easiest to see. There we go. So you can kind of see that I've got two color layers there. So that's how you kind of layer on top of each other. Um, that's how I have the yellow behind the blue there. Okay, now we have got our pails put together um, with the cricketing things on them. We have been in, um, if you've been following my 31 Woman Cooks blog, you've been seeing that we've made chocolate covered um, eggs and we made caramel. And, um, and then I also made some Rice Krispie treats and dipped them in chocolate and then some little Easter sprinkles. And I did these precious little coconut egg nests um, with, it's just coconut and uh, milk, white milk, uh, white chocolate. Um, but I will have the recipes for all of these items on the 31 Woman Cooks. So if you just look above in the blog, you'll see the little cook um, tab. Just click on it and you can find the recipes. But um, we, here are the little baskets and I've got them down in bags. And I've got grass in them. And remember we did the, the, the name on the front and we did the little Jesus is Risen on the back. And so now we're just going to start um, putting items in them. So I'll go with some of the bigger items. Alrighty, and um, probably the caramel is pretty sturdy, so we'll put it down in there. And I have to say, this stuff is addictive. Oh my goodness, it is so good. Would you agree with that, Mr. Cameraman? <laughs> I think my son and my husband have been enjoying having that in the kitchen. It is so good. Good thing I don't cook like this all the time. Okay. And now um, we'll put our little Easter eggs in here. And this is, you know, one neat thing about doing these myself is that, let me find the one. Um, my niece can't have peanut butter or any nut type thing, so I made all mint for her. So that, and I know she likes chocolate mint, so I know for sure that these are not going to cause her a problem. Um, so I feel good about her having those. So let me make sure that I get that into Delaney's bucket. And then everybody else's, I just kind of gave them a mixture. Um, like this one is the coconut with the um, hazelnut uh, Nutella, chocolate Nutella. Um, these are the peanut butter, yum. Those are really good too. And you know, this was a little bit of work, but it's with love and you know that the kids are getting things that are um, healthy, well, kind of healthy for them. There's sugar, but there's no preservatives, no MSGs, no dyes, nothing like that. Everything's Kind of sort of natural if you <laughs> just can get past the sugar. Okay, and then I'm going to put in the little coconut egg nests. I thought those turned out really cute too. Um, I'm going to put some little bitty bubbles in here in each person. I think I have two for each. Let's just finish one up real quick and show you. We're just going to take, uh, where's my end? Some white curly ribbon. Break everything down real well. going to take one of my little Easter egg baskets, thread it through, and then do a little bow.
And then you can always take the end of your scissors and curl your ribbon up. So there you go. Aren't those going to be cute? All right, happy Easter and enjoy.